So my cat asked me to put out a video and I'm doing this very quickly because I'm very low on computer space, but it's the Olive Tov sign on May 21st at 11, 11 a.m. The sign that a lot of people are seeing 11, 11. So let me make this very quick video and I think this will be my last legacy video as my computer is running out. So this is probably where I sign off altogether with my channel. But here's the follow up to Repo Man 64 Mike's video from this morning. Mike got a message. I'll just read. I was using Stellarium and I think I discovered a massive thing. And I'll just skip down about seeing 1111. So when you see the moon crosses a straight line between Alpha Tau, which is Taurus, and Beta Tau, Taurus. Alpha Tau means Alpha and Omega, Father and Cross. Beta Tau also is also the name Al Nath, Gift of God. It crosses this line on or it's at 1111 on May 21st on your Enoch rapture day. So, and he goes, I think this is the beginning of Gemini, but it's actually the beginning of Taurus. So I'll just skip through this quickly because my computer may crash. So on May 21st at 1111, because a lot of people are seeing 1111, he was saying that the moon is in a straight line with Alpha Tau, which is Alpha Taurus, which is Aldebaran, and Beta Tau, which is the star El Nath. And the moon is in a direct straight line between Alpha Tau and Beta Tau. And then here's the horns of the bull of Taurus. So he's also saying it's making the sign of Alpha and Tau which is the first and the last. So Alpha Tau is the star Aldebaran, as I said, Beta Tau is the star Al Neth. El means God, Nathan means gift of God or the giver whom God gives and that's the Strong's 5416. And so the Aleph and the Tav, and Tau can be spelled T-O-V as well is the first and the last. But in the Greek, it's the Alpha and Omega. In Hebrew, it's the Alpha and Tav. So if you look up the meaning of Beta Tau or Beta Taurus, the star El Nath, it actually means Nactic, which is the wounded one, instead of what he thought. But I mean, I think it's just splitting hairs with God, the gift of God, etc. But again, this is on May 21st at 11.11. 11. So you see that it forms a straight line between Alpha Tau and Beta Tau with the moon in as straight as the crows fly. But if you go from the between the horns, it forms this crossbar when you go through this star on the uh, bull's right hand or left hand horn you might say from this picture through the moon it forms this v shape with a crossbar going through it and that is the hebrew letter olive and if you look at the going down that straight line from olive tau to beta tau and then the line that goes through the crossbar with the moon from the other horn through the moon it forms a T, and that is the Hebrew letter Tav, thus it being the Olive Tav, which is the first and the last. So in ancient Hebrew, you see the V with the crossbar, if you rotate it, that's the Hebrew letter Olive, and then the cross is the Tav, which is the last letter, so the first and the last, and Jesus is the Olive Tav. And this symbol right here, Olive, was always represented by the bull, thus it being in Taurus as well. And here's the full symbol that the guy was seeing, the Olive 
which is the first, and the Tav, which is the last. And it goes through the start Alpha Tav through Beta Tav, which, which is Taurus. And that's the start Aldebaran, the moon, and Elneth, or Elneth. And then the meaning of that is here, which you could read yourself. But this is mentioned in Isaiah 44, verse 6. I am the first and the last. And this occurs on May 21st at 1111 in the sign of Taurus. So I hope that explains everything. And um, well, let me go through this quickly. Hopefully I have enough space. This is also what we're going to see with the solar eclipses that traverse across the United States. We had the one on August 21st and the up the next one when that we know about on April 8th of 2024. That forms the X, which is the Tav, but we also have the Ring of Fire occurring this October 14th, 2023. That goes up this way and that forms the olive and then the tav. Let me scroll through that. So there's the olive and there's the tav that's going across the United States. So I believe that it's both a sign of judgment in the heavenly sign and across the United States. So I'll end here before uh, my computer crashes and I'll talk to you later. Take care.